boys don't. Now you do exactly what I told you. Fix your belt. No, thanks. Will you listen to me? That's why I'm here. Shoot and take your best shot. All I can do is say what happened. Try again. I told you the truth. If you don't believe me, then I'll have to go to someone else who will. That man, whatever his name is, who doesn't have a name that you work for. You have no right to stand there and try and frighten me as though I'd lied. As though no one else could have taken the money. There isn't anybody else. To me, or Phil, and the man knows that we wouldn't steal from him. We're family. You aren't. There's only you. I have the right to face him. Let him be the judge, not you. The right? Honey, with him you get about as much right as a flea and a French poodle. And a lot less chance. You've got to tell me who he is so I can talk to him. He's the man, the boss man. And if you need any other name for him, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. He has a hundred names, and one of them is Nicky Drake. He pulled that name out of a hat and gave him a use in San Francisco on this one little business. His name is Nicky Drake. And in this gig, I'm him, and you better believe it because I do. I don't. Now, you see what I mean about the truth? Nobody but you was in it. And now, there he is, an added starter. What is it you don't believe? You. You see how it works? You make a mistake anybody could have made, with a little bad luck. You could have been robbed or blown the money on the square, and the man might have bought it. But now we got something else. We got him. We got this added starter. You ask me who the man was? Well, tell me who this one is. This one with the big ears. I'm a friend of hers. Someone who knows her well enough to know she wouldn't steal 200,000, not from you or the big man who pulls the strings. So if she can't tell him, you tell him. You not only got big ears, you got a big mouth. Tell him that. I will. It might get a laugh for me. What it will get for you, I don't have to say. You still have time. Time to check it off as a stupid play. Because there'll never be a dime's worth of fun in the whole 200,000. Not for either one of you. And don't worry about how to find us. We'll find you. Just so you won't make any mistakes, I'm going to tell you my plans. They got anything to do with me? You decide that. I'm going to go up to the captain's cabin. I'm going to put in a call to San Francisco. To a friend of mine named Jim Seaborn. You heard of him? I may have. I'm going to ask him to meet me at the airport with a little help. So, I think you and your associates should wait for a better shot. Any other suggestions? Yeah. Take a message to Angie Zeno. Tell him he should have believed me. You got that? He should have believed me. He'll know what it means. Sooner or later. So what? So the police picked him up. Is that some reason for you to lose him? He went into a government office. The Justice Department. And then we lost it. Now, I don't know how they got him out of there. You don't know how they got him out of there. Oh, that's good. That's beautiful. Maybe they put a beard on him. Maybe they got a helicopter on the roof. Maybe they got a back door. What are you in an uproar about? We'll find him for you. Or well, does that message mean something I don't know about? What you don't know could fill a yellow 